Baba, we commit this nation into your hand and asking you all these forces that are risen to stop us progressing that they be put to shame in the name of Jesus. Baba, we thank you. Thank you for tonight's meeting. For we commit this night meeting, this, this night meeting into your hand in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, and in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Thank you because you are here with us. Thank you because you will do, you will do it for your name's sake. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Malik Yawmidin, Iya, Kana Abudu, Iya, Kana Sta'in, Hidina Surat Al-Musakim, Surat Al-Lazina, Amta Alayhim, Gair Al-Magdubi, Alayhim, Wala Dalim, Gair Al-Magdubi, Alayhim, Wala Dalim, Surat Al-Lazina, Amta Alayhim, Hidina Surat Al-Musakim, Iya, Kana Abudu, Iya, Kana Sta'in, Malik Yawmidin, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Al-Fatiha. It's a fulfillment of the divine mandate given by God Almighty to us members of this great organization to continue to intercede for the country and for the president, President Muhammad Buhari. For we all are aware that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers in high places. We are aware of this, and that is why we put together this unique program to usher Nigeria into a new phase of a greater glory in the year 2021. Dear brothers and sisters, we must acknowledge the peace, the place of prayer in all our endeavors. We shall pray just like Paul and Silas did and suddenly there was an earthquake so that the foundations of the prisons we are shaken and immediately all the doors we are opened and everyone's pounds we are loose. At the end of this program, all the bounds that have held Nigeria back shall be loose in the mighty name of Jesus. And Nigeria shall enter into a reign of exceeding grace and abundance. Today, my dear brethren and sisters, I declare that the clergymen and women under the Unity Church and the Unity Ministry will hold intercessory for this country every three months to assure that the devil and the enemies of Nigeria are not given space to breathe in this country in the year 2021. I want to thank each and every one of you for coming and may the mercy of the Lord continue to be upon your life. Indeed, the prayer of Muslims and Christians who have refused to seal their soul to the devil have continued to keep the country in unity and prosperity over the years. My beloved, we must continue to pray for Great Nigeria and President Muhammad Buhari in the year 2020. We must pray against those individual and group that have been sponsoring acts of violence in the country. This much they did in 2020 without succeed and the year 2021 shall be the year where they will meet their workload. Hallelujah. 2021 is a year Nigeria will recover. It's a year you will recover. So I'm talking to you as you are hearing me. You are stepping to a year 2020, a year of recovery. A year of recovery what you lost. A year of recovery those that have 
at last in the name of Jesus. You will not die. I say you will live long. Other leaders that are standing to make sure they build the country, they will live long. They will not die. They will live to see the progress and the blessings of this country. In the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for the whole country as we work together in one and the unity of this country. All of us that are here and those that are hearing me at home, I pray for you, you will eat the fruit of your labor. I say you, you will eat the fruit of your labor. Every labor you have labored for this country, in prayer, in everything you have done, I say you will eat the fruit of your labor. If you believe it, can I hear a louder amen? Thank you, Father, for hearing us. Have your way, Holy Spirit. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you very much. Happy New Year.